Hey, it's Mike Monday here. So, in your busy life, I know it can be super hard to sit down to make music at all. In fact, it can be so hard that you start to blame the other things in your life, like job, friends, family, social life, for not making music. But, if you want to make music, none of this stuff is going away anytime soon, and focusing on it is just focusing on the problem, not the solution. So what is the solution? Well, in this video, I'll give you a solution. It worked for getting me moving when I was stuck and at a standstill, and it worked after that throughout my career when the food on my table was as a result of the music I made. You see, there are two basic methods of motivating yourself to do anything. There's towards motivation, when I do this, I will. And then there's away from motivation, if I don't do this, then I will. So you're likely to have a tendency towards one or the other, but in reality, you'll be motivated by some of both. Now, this explains how it was possible that when I was working full time on my music, I didn't finish a single track for two years. But then when I got the awful soul destroying job in the coffee shop, I experienced a massive boost in my output quantity and quality. Because day after day, my away from motivation was being increased by working for someone else, doing work I didn't care about. And this away from motivation was like rocket fuel blasting me headfirst into the studio. You see, the problem wasn't my circumstances or my situation. My problem was up here. So I came up with a solution for those many times when I found it hard to sit down and do the stuff I needed to do. I call it the motivation audit. It's quite simple. It just involves working out on a sheet of paper exactly what is motivating you to do what you're trying to do. Do it now. Get out a sheet of paper and write down absolutely everything, small or big, that might be motivating you to make music. Now what's important here is to be honest with yourself. One of the most exciting benefits of learning how the human brain works is that you can be honest about the basic drivers of your behaviour without attaching a good or a bad value to them. So your motivation for making music could be you want to give up your humdrum, meaningless day job, working for a boss who does your nut in every day. You want to contribute to the world by inspiring others with your music. You want to build a timeless legacy of a catalogue of music that will exist long after you're gone. You want to see the look on your friends and family's faces when you finally get to where you've been talking about for years. You want to hear the roar of a crowd going wild to one of your tunes rather than someone else's. You want to be famous. You want to make lots of money and touch all those worldly possessions you can now buy. You want a girlfriend or a boyfriend. You want to taste the food, the different cultures and experience the adventures of a globetrotting DJ. You want to feel the warmth of achievement that providing for your family through your passion will provide. You want to achieve mastery of a craft you love. Now you'll notice some of these are what society would call noble or good. And some are what society would label as being selfish or bad or greedy. But it's really important you're honest with yourself here. Remember, no one is looking. So if you're actually motivated by something which you feel slightly ashamed of, don't. You're human. This is the time to be honest with yourself. Now, if you've got your list down and been honest with yourself, it's time to experiment. For each of them, find on the internet or in, the, in a magazine an image or a quote which represents each of these sources of motivation. Choose one and stick this somewhere you go every day, like the bathroom mirror, but which isn't your studio or where you make music. I'll explain why that is in the next video. Use this single source of motivation for a couple of days and see what a difference it makes. Then do the same with another. Pretty soon you'll find certain things motivate you more than others and they'll probably not be the things you think or want to be motivated by. Remember, you are human. You will be motivated by stuff which your higher self might not always feel is particularly worthy. That's okay.